This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Good morning. I'm Deb Goodrich. Welcome to Around Kansas. Here we are nearing the end of October, Halloween coming up this weekend, the time change. And you know how I live to get that hour back when the time changes. But I will have to admit, I'm not sure an extra hour of 2020 is what anybody was hoping for. But nonetheless, take advantage of that extra hour. And I know it's not really an extra hour, but it sure does feel like it, doesn't it? Yeah, my greatest fear is that I will die during daylight savings time and I will lose that hour. And I know that may not be based in sound science, but it's sure based in sound paranoia. So there you have it. So I was in Leavenworth um, and Holton uh, last weekend and had a wonderful time. Our friend Steve and Mary Ann Tennant married off their daughter Maddie to uh, a very, very handsome and uh, wonderful young man. So Blaine and Maddie, congrats and many, many joys to you in the future. And the mother of the bride was stunning in a gown with a matching mask. 2020, what a year, what a crazy year it has been. And we had the reception with people wearing masks and it was um, it people, you know, seated away from one another. And it was a challenge, but it was beautiful. And it came off um, a really lovely time. And while we were up there, got to hang out with our friends, Vane and Carol Huggins. And they're just uh, super people. Um, I needed a couple of favors from them while I was there. Had a little vehicle trouble. And Carol's like, well, what are friends for? And I said, yeah. You know, I just hope my friends never need the favors that I've needed from them because I just don't know if I'm willing to do that much for somebody else. So I've been very, very blessed with some really wonderful, wonderful friends. And while we were there, we stayed in Holton at the Hotel Josephine. And the Hotel Josephine, one of my very pl favorite places to stay in Kansas, it's just lovely. It's right off the square. The square in Holton is so pretty, especially this time of year with the leaves changing. And so many pretty homes. You know, Sunday morning we just kind of rode around um, looking at the neighborhoods. And what a beautiful, beautiful little town Holton is. So the Josephine is being sold. And so wonderful to hear that the new owners are just as committed to preserving this beautiful place, to keeping it open and may even add a few features like a restaurant. Wouldn't that be cool? We're sure hoping that that works out and wish all of them the best. And the management that has been there for the last nine years, the owners, God bless you on your new journey. So I was thinking this morning about Halloween coming up and I was recalling some of the episodes that Frankie and I used to do. Remember when he dressed up like the Knight Rider and he had the do-rag on his head and, um, the flames and the whole nine yards and he just looked so cool and oh my gosh we had so much fun with that every time we filmed we had so much fun together and so we have a youtube channel in addition of course to facebook where you can watch the show even though um, frankie's not with us any longer we are so thrilled that we can still enjoy his work and the work we did together so take advantage of that you know and subscribe to our youtube channel Hey, lots of great stuff coming up this morning, so stay with us. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger than life personalities, sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. Okay, looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're gonna find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. We've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bit place with a great big story and we'd love to have you.
highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas.